first time reacting to it this is going to be extremely this is extremely crucial I already see something crazy and i think all right okay so here we go we're starting off with the these are all the band cards right obviously that was one of the four band cards. okay so these are the oh okay wait, oh yeah oh yeah, yeah this is the four band cards forgot about this one this is the, usually i do it off the list this is the first time i'm actually going off like the individual ones so here we go the first one i see is fiend smith La lacrima he'll be honest it hurts, but this one, th this one is a little bit understandable because th like this one right here will help it bridge a lot of different, like it helped it like not, not only bridge a lot of like, you know, like bridge a lot of combos, but it just kind of like helped to get like really degenerate that helped the end with like multiple different interruptions with the Beatrice. Apollo so the Bow the Goddess, obvious, that one had to go, that one, I, I wouldn't say I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say Finn had to go. There's no way. You know, I, like, I really, I really actually did like like Appalosa, But if we're getting rid of all of the negates, Appalosa is something that people kind of just slap down. Even though there's a lot of ways to play around it, it is you know it does stop a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity. This one completely makes sense because no one likes things that that turns off turns. And if you're turning off turns right now, you are not having any kind of fun. And that's not the type of Yu-Gi-Oh that they pretty much want us to play. And then the last one is Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Honestly, that like I said, Be Beatrice. That everyone knew that that one had to go. It was there was too many things with transaction rollback. I I, I was this is kind of interesting because I really felt like there there's they I, I really felt like they could have instead of hitting Fiendsmith Lacoma, they could have hit the Goddess of the Closed Worlds because that one right there makes it easier for every single deck to go into the Fiendsmith engine. But at the at, but at the same time. By, by hitting that one, it also it, it does also prevent them to just win in time because that's also something that's kind of very toxic. Just boom, using it, burning for freaking 1200, being able to bridge. Uh, I, I, I do use this a lot in my Fiendsmith Magical Musketeer deck that does kind of create like a lot of really good end boards. So this is going to kind of change up a lot of things. But let's, sorry, let's go to the next one, bro. Show me what's the next one. All right. no, those are all only those are only the four bands, right? Those are the only. All right, only got four. We only got four bands. Only <laughs> four bands. Completely had to change. Up. And this is the limited. Okay, so these are these are all limited. So like I said, this is supposed to save Yu-Gi-Oh. So this better be huge. This this better be long. Uh, uh, I, 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 I see a lot. All right, this better be big. All right, like we're looking over here. So oh, Eva, Eva the one. You know what? Okay, people were talking about bringing back Eva. That is awesome. That is actually something that would be like really cool. For, not only for just Brighton, but just like if you're just running any kind of like fairy deck. All right, like well, like, actually no, no, pretty much just not fairy deck. Ritual deck because you're able just to recycle Ben 10. That's all. I always say fairy deck, but really all I mean is like Ben 10. I, if I say fairy deck, I mean Ben 10. All right, so we got Snake Eye Ash to one and Pop Little One. Bam, completely like makes sense. Bringing both of those to one, not only bringing down the power, bringing down the, bringing down the consistency, but I don't see Flamberge on there, so there's still going to be a little bit of recursion. So, like, it's still going to be a good engine in Rescue Ace if we still have Wanted. Let's see if Ritual, uh, I'm not, I don't know if Ritual, you know, Sinful Spoiler, I don't know if you can tell, I'm trying not to look at it, trying to keep it out here. Number 40, give me a public, and number C, 40 limited, okay, that makes sense, so you don't do the FDK, you always gotta get rid of that stuff, but then, then it seems like they're leaving a couple things open, like, uh, like you know, like, okay, we're gonna, wreck, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of, the, you know, this FDK, but we're gonna leave it as a deck that could still kind of, you know, pull those something out. Uh, Brand of Fusion, Opening of the Spirit Gates, Pot of Prosperity, Sangin, Summoning, and that grass looks greener. Skill Dre, okay, that grass looks greener is actually scary. I regret actually not getting that grass looks greener. I believe we're gonna, I'm gonna have to look. I don't think I have any copies. I should, should have, I should have picked some up. But there, but this is kind, of, this is this is kind of solid one coming because of Infernoids. I, I knew that Konami did want to push Infernoids eventually, but for now. Right, yeah, we're gonna see how that one happens. Uh, see how that kind of goes. Skill drain to one it makes sense. It should have never, to be honest, should have never came back to three. Uh, who, whoever, whoever said put it to three was, you know, was kind of thinking, oh, this is gonna help. No, it's gonna kind of make the game more toxic, especially when decks that like, like Snake Eye were eventually able to like just get rid of it, or decks that could just put a board up and then just flip that and then just see kind of like win and stop that. So. Uh, so saying that something in one do, like does make sense because you don't want Tempai Dragon just running completely rampant. I uh, but at the same time it looks like Tempai Dragon is going to be one of the top decks, maybe tier one, tier one point five. I don't know about tier zero because like there, there's still a lot of workarounds. But yeah, they also got rid of the Pot of Prosperity too because like that was making so many decks uh, really consistent. That actually a Pot of Prosperity and Sangen Summoning to one is actually pretty good for Tempai because I know Tempai could OTK through Pot of Prosperity, so that's pretty good. Opening of the Spirit Gates. Is just you know sitting there hitting for you bell. I guess some of the people think that it hit the, the the beckoning beast, but like you know you can still use it for sprite. So I do believe that like they kind of want to keep that on the side, and also for people playing god card stuff. 
All right, let's go. We go to the next one. Semi. Is there semi limited? There is. There's semi limited. There's semi. Is there anything? Yeah, there's probably gonna be a couple things off the list. Hopefully, I'm hoping the uh, actually, well, I think plush fires I is a, like this one. is a thing. But it's, I like this one. Okay, so semi limited list. Oh, all of the dragon rulers to two. Now this is fun. I've been wanting to run dragon rulers for fun but to be honest when they're just at one and with like how powerful everything is like it really is going to work even. but with them at two i believe also the babies are off the list as well so like now that we have like all you know the babies at the end, i don't know maybe like a fun little freaking dragon ruler deck that, that's just kind of really crazy that's really fun lunar uh lunar light tiger all right lunar light tiger okay I'm, i don't know i don't, I don't I never really played lunar light not a really big fan of that so i don't really know what that does semi-limiting uh thunder dragon colossus uh people I think people wanted this to probably go back on the ban list, but at the same time, like, they're, uh, it's... I, I, I think Konami's experimenting with floodgates that you could interact with a little more easily, even though even though this has protection, so it's kind of like, like, you know, funny to say. But like, like I said, I think Konami's trying to get rid of, like, that back row plus a monster, just a monster, to encourage more interaction. So, you know, that's, you know, that, that's kind of a thing we got here. And if the world child is just a card of two, that's just extra. She wasn't really doing anything at one, putting it to two, just to kind of increase a little bit of consistency for decks I want to use her. Makes sense. Okay. Last one should be what comes off the list. This is what I'm, this is what I need, all right? This is what I need. I want Wind Up Carrier, Zen Maney back off the list, obviously, even though Hunter wasn't on the list. Just bring back Zen Maney. four. Sweet. Okay, so unlimited Armageddon Knight off the list. Okay, Red Rose Dragon coming off the list. All right, and, and didn't need to be there. Mass Effect Unicorn Kieran off the list. That is a little bit interesting. We don't have, we didn't get Electromite off. So I, I guess like that's probably that's probably not the not the biggest thing. Performer Help uh, Plush Fire. That one makes sense because like it became a hard once per turn, so you're not able to just like, constantly loop it. I, I remember how tough that deck was. The deck was extremely freaking fun to play back in the day. But yeah, let's see. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon coming off the list. Yeah, because I had this a rod and not really doing what it used to do. Uh, Dang Long Force of the Angzine coming off the list and Time Seal coming off the list. That is, uh... Okay, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the first. I'm probably, some people are gonna be happy. Some people are like, hey, I'm looking at this list and I'm like, okay, um, this does something, but I don't know if it's if it's gonna change too much up like i'm pretty sure because like you because like if i'm thinking if i'm thinking about it you still have wanted like you still have the flamber dragon you said you still have the wanted engine there because you know they still have like more dia vessel support so i i'm, I'm like i said so it, it kind of seems like snake eye is just going to be a more fragile deck and it's and you're probably gonna need a you're, you're probably like you know you could probably still run fiend smith like you know like snake eye although you're gonna like you lose a lot of consistency and power you know because you lose a lot of copies of the you know of ash and the popular being at one but you're also you also lose the extension of the Bakuma. this also does affect me a little bit because i was running the fiend smith magical musketeer kind of thought they weren't really gonna get hit but at the same time i um I don't know. I really wish they would have just hit the goddess of the closed world, because then that, that would have just prevented every deck from being able to splash it. But at the same time, I do like how the Fiendsmith engine plays, so I guess it's better if every deck kind of have access to it, so that way we're all kind of on equal kind of footing. I think maybe that's what I was trying to do, was like, if we bring down the power of the engine, and, and it'll, it'll make it not, it'll make it like, like not as, I guess like, like not as unfair, and then if everyone could splash it in at high level events, then it's not like, you know, like, oh, you know, if you don't have it, whoever has it, you know, wins. It's like, you know, more everyone could like kind of like use it, so. I don't know. This list is this list was interesting. I, I kind of wish there's a little more to it, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna. It, it, it's it's we're, we're probably gonna need to get a, a couple more things like in the next set. Cause I I, I I really I don't know. I guess I guess I'm I guess I'm not as excited about this list as I was wanted to be. I waited a long time for it. We're all kind of hyped, and then it kind of comes out, and I'm just like, okay, it's a list. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Peace out. Probably gonna be doing a bunch of more code card giveaways and then we're gonna be uh, revealing why the hell we've been in this uh, weird place. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.